All right, so now let me go ahead and finally give my thoughts on the most broken gun in the game. This game, this gun is so broken. Ah, ah, this gun is broken. All right, so here's what I think about the Nemesis Burst AR, okay? Well, first we gotta, we have to break the gun down first. All right, let, let, let's let's first break this gun down. All right, it's a energy ammo weapon. It's an energy ammo weapon. So what does that mean, first of all? In Apex Legends, look at this dummy strafing his life out. In Apex Legends, there's different ammo types. Let's name them in order from the most common to least common. What's the most common ammo type in Apex Legends? Light ammo. Light ammo spawns the most more than any other ammo type in the entire game. It's in the game files. You can check. And then second is... Heavy. Light ammo, heavy ammo, shotgun ammo, sniper ammo, energy ammo. That is the order. Well, actually, LB, energy is more than sniper. No, it's not. You think energy spawns more than sniper, but that's not true. You think that? I'm going to show you the exact reason. I, this is the exact reason why somebody would think that. Don't worry. I, I, you know what I mean? This is LB. Come on now. I'll explain this real quick. That hill literally pushed me into that pole. This is the reason why a person would think would think that. Because with Sniper, you only get two. Whereas with Energy, you have three. 28, 60. All right. So, let's go back to the most broken gun in the game. Ah! The Nemesis Burst they are. Or just the Nemesis. All right. All right. So, this is an Energy Ammo weapon. It's so strong. All right. So, it's already using the least and also this nothing too they've buffed the spawn rate of energy ammo in, the, in this game two times in the entire game's life cycle so it's no nowhere near as rare as it used to be but it's still it can get pretty tight especially if you don't have a lobo on your team or if you don't replicate ammo which the average player doesn't because they want to they just hit somebody for five damage so they're definitely across the map so they're definitely going to push that person and die right all right so the energy ammo is the least common but you have pretty much because if I'm not on a team, that entire team is running Nemesis. If I'm not on that team, that's a full team of three people with Nemesis. So think about this, right? Each person on that team, and if they don't have Loba as well, at the most has at the most has 120. There's no one on that team that has more than 120, except for the person that's hogging all the ammo. And now, the, and th therefore, one of the people on the team literally is looking like this with like 60 i know that's like that sounds crazy but that that's literally what is what, what's happening i i know that's what's happening right come on now it's energy so that's one that's one strike for the nemesis it's energy but that doesn't mean it's a bad gun let's continue analyzing this gun it has 20 rounds by default pretty good 20 rounds i believe that's more than the flatline if i'm correct the flatline has 18 Let's see. Nope, flatline has 20. So is it the R3? R3 has what? 19 or 18? This is oh they I see they they moved the location. Let's check. Yep, R3 is the one that has 18. So that's good for the for the Nemesis. Nemesis spawns with 20 by default. R3 has 18. The R3 hits for now 13 damage base. See? Boom. 13. Nemesis, I gotta, I gotta like hit the first target and, and like sway. So that's not the gun's recoil. 17 damage, which I already knew that, but that's just for data purposes, right? For, all right, so that's 17 per bullet. R3 is 13 per bullet. R3 spawns with 18 rounds in the mag by default. Nemesis spawns with 20 rounds in the mag or the circle, because it's not a magazine, by default. Okay, it's looking pretty solid for the Nemesis. Let's continue going. The Nemesis is a burst rifle, okay, and it's firing in four-round bursts, not three. This is not the M16. This isn't Call of Duty. We're in the year, like, 2,900, okay? We're not in 2,023, all right? And by the way, the M16 came out way before 2023. Just, just throwing that out there right now. And unlike the Prowler and the Havoc, you just have to hold the trigger down. And it auto bursts. And it auto bursts. And you 
You see that bar above the ammo? The larger that becomes, the shorter the delay gets in between each burst. All right? The fire rate doesn't increase. The delay is shorter because that's how it is literally stated in the game files. It's not the fire rate, which indirectly is the fire rate, but it's not the fire rate. It's the burst delay gets shortened. That's very important. That That is definitely relevant. Okay? So what does that do? That actually increases the damage per second of the weapon. And then the last thing I'll say, not last, but another big thing I'll say is, since this is a burst weapon, in your brain, you should think something like, oh, it's a burst weapon. So does that mean it's like a really accurate gun? That's where the problem comes in, in my opinion. Okay? Now, I said this, I said this in the very beginning. I said a lot of people will blow the gun out of proportion because the gun is new. Because the gun is new. They do that every time there's a new weapon added into the game. Since the beginning of time. When the Havoc first got added into the game. People said it was the most broken gun. For the whole like first week. And then what happened? Even in that first season. like People stopped using it really fast. I'm not saying the same thing will happen to the Nemesis. I'm not saying that. I've been... Listen. I have been playing Rainbow Six Siege for 7 plus... I've played Siege for 7 plus years. There's over 50 characters. Every time a new character comes in for like that first week, people say that that new operator is broken, especially if they come with a new gun into the game because Siege has over 100 guns, right? They say the same thing. Why? Because it's new. Because we don't know how to play around it yet. So therefore, it's overpowered. It's not the weapon that's overpowered. It's the fact that we don't really know how to play around it yet. And the lesser skilled you are, the longer it takes you to learn how to play around it. But if you're, and also remember too, I come from from a, a background of playing games for money, fighting games. When I'm playing a game and a new character gets added into the game, that character becomes meta because nobody knows the matchup. We don't know that character's frame data. We don't know how to counter certain moves. Therefore, if you play that character, the chances of you winning, even if you're a lesser skilled player, Jumps up because people don't know how to play around it. But people don't think like that. They just say, oh, it's a new gun. It's broken because everybody else is saying it's broken because everybody's running it. Therefore, it's broken because the Apex community believes pick rate. How much somebody uses something means if more people use it, then it must be broken. That's not how that works, though. It's a new gun. Everybody wants to try it. Of course, people will be using it because it's new. When's the last time we had a new gun? They said it in the trailer. It's been seasons. So, of course, people will want to use it. This isn't like a legend where you have to buy them. It's on the ground. It's free. Open the supply bin. There it is. It feels like the gun has a higher spawn rate, too, because it's a new gun, and they, they literally want you to use it. But I'm not saying it's it's I'm not saying it's not overpowered and it's not strong. That's not what I'm saying. I'm just explaining why it's easy to preemptively jump the gun and say the gun is absolutely broken. Okay? I'm not saying it's weak. I'm not saying it's strong. I'm just literally making a fact. Because I'm me, because that's all I spit. So, four-round burst. Is it accurate? I'm going to be honest. This thing, the, the nemesis, the burst, the recoil of the burst feels like a havoc without a barrel stabilizer. This feels like a hav or excuse me, that's not a havoc. This feels like a hemlock, like not the care package hemlock. Okay, because I've been using the hemlock for seasons on end. Seasons on the end. All right. Uh, there's, you're, you're not going to find too many other users in Apex Legends who have used a hemlock more than me. I can speak on the hemlock, okay? This thing feels like, without a barrel stabilizer, like like a hemlock burst with a level 1 barrel stabilizer. That's not that accurate. I have fought against plenty of nemesis, nemesi. I fought against plenty of nemesi. That's nemesis plural, I guess. Where they actually can't hit me. It's just when they do do hit me. I feel it. I can literally... How you doing? I can literally, with the majority of weapons, beam 
from pretty far. But with a nemesis, it's a fixed burst. It's a fixed burst. I just not know for this specific burst, I want it to be a one round burst or a two round burst, right? It's a fixed burst. After like 50, 60 meters, if I've had like a rampage or a G7, specifically like a G7 or a rampage or a triple take or an R301 or a flatline, they're, 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 they're beamed. They hit two of the of that burst, two rounds within that four round burst. It's just if they can hit the burst, if they can hit the burst, this gun is is a what if. It's the boogeyman because it's new. Already, the usage of the gun has diminished. When I was playing earlier, there were way less nemesis, nemesis excuse me, because that's nemesis plural. There was way less nemesis than there was on launch because people have been accumulated to the weapon now. People are learning how to play around it. A lot of people are realizing, hey, this isn't the gun for me. I thought the gun was overpowered because everything I said literally 10 plus, 10 plus minutes ago. I'm not saying it again. My breath is too valuable. Oh, but LB, it can equip a barrel stabilizer. All right, now this is when I say this, okay? And Apex Legends, that uh, that literally scared me. I'm not going to lie. My heart literally stopped for a split second. That explosion. And Apex Legends, let me move so I don't get kicked. And Apex Legends, attachments aren't built equal across the weapons. This is what I mean. A level 3 barrel stabilizer on an R301 is not going to do the same thing as a level 3 barrel stabilizer on a Devotion. Not because the Devo has more base recoil, but because the multiplier that the barrel stabilizer provides for that weapon is just different. It's just different. It's just different. Same thing for the Nemesis. I have tested this weapon in range and in game in extensive detail and use and time. This I'm going to wrap this one up and, and just say it real quick. This is not, the gun is not overpowered. The gun is not broken. The gun is fair. This is just a good gun. That's all there is to it. It's just a good gun. That's it. They created the gun. They said, they've said themselves that they want the gun to compete with the R301. They said it in the trailer when they specifically brought up, they said we want a gun to be able to fight against the R3 and a flatline. When I said on my stream, when I said, see, they didn't even say the hemlock. When I said that, that was their intent. They just made a good gun. That's all. It's not, it's this, this isn't, this isn't even the best gun in the game. It's not, it's not a bad gun, but the average person will hear me say, the average person will hear me say it's not the most... They'll hear me say it's not overpowered, so they think, Oh, so he thinks the gun is bad? He said it's not overpowered like literally everybody else is saying. So he's saying it's bad then. Right? That's, that's, that's how the average person thinks. Like I said, I'll recap everything I just said real quick on the Nemesis, right? Because I know you just joined. The Nemesis is a new gun. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not recapping it. It was just too much. It was too much. But it is a very good gun. That's it. That is all. It's a good gun. It's not overpowered. Rampage is back on ground. This indirectly buffs, dramatically indir indirectly buffs Fuse. I explained that Yes, Was that yesterday? The day before on stream. I, I'll do it one more time. Okay, I'll do it one more time for the vine. For the vine, for the vine. Right? And I've actually seen uh, quite a bit of Fuses already. All right. So if you're fused, again, you can do this. You can grab this and this, right? Off of the bat, this is a really fire fuse loadout. You know, Mastiff and Rampage. If you're running Mastiff, here's why this is so strong. Oh, yep, yeah, and let's not forget, fuse is an assault, which means you can carry more ammunition per stack, okay? All right. Oh, I got to wrap three. All right, so fuse, carry more so with a shotgun with a mastiff listen the reality is if you're not me and you're not running maggie you're going to never literally use a mastiff and need 21 rounds in reserve but you're you're fused you're assault take it anyway right 
And then you have a rampage. And here's why you have rampage. You can do this. Ba 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 ba. Three hundred and two. In fact, realistic game is realistic. We got a level two backpack because we're being realistic. Let's say you happen to like break a loot tick or something. You can land on a mirage ship and and got grow body shield from one of those like mirage balls on his ship. And you got a gold body shield. Congratulations. You found a level two backpack underneath the ship. You got a level two body shield and you got rampage Loba through black market you, and you grabbed all this heavy ammo. But that's all you grabbed. You're like, dude, I need some more stuff. I need to grab some heals. You grab one Phoenix kit because remember, you always have at least one Phoenix kit in your inventory, especially mid game. And you also grab two shield bats because you have to always at least bare minimum have two shield bats. Bare minimum, always have at least two med kits. At least have four shield cells and at least at least four syringes. That's an at least. That's a standard. That's a standard, okay? If, if your inventory, listen, if your heel wheel doesn't at least look like this, this is a standard. If you don't have that by round three, it's time to go back to Jump Master Academy, but it's fine. You know what I mean? I'll happily take you in, right? I'm the head professor of it. You see what I'm saying? Like, it's fine, right? I'll just re-educate you. I'll put you in, in, in my, my re-education course where it's really fast because you knew the information. You just forgot it. It's fine. Let me just refresh you. One Phoenix kit. In fact, let me close this wheel so we don't cheat. By round three, how many Phoenix kits should we have in our inventory? The answer is one. By round three, how many shield bats should we have in our inventory? Two. This is a minimum. You can you can listen. It's like a packing list. You can add two, but you can't take away. You cannot take away from it. You cannot take away. You can add two. So if you want more, that's fine. That's fine. But you cannot have less than this. Otherwise, you messed up. You're fired. I'll get somebody else to do your job for you. Med kits. How many med kits should we have? Bare minimal. By round three. Two. Shield cells and syringes. How many should we have? Bare minimum by round three. It don't matter what legend you are. This is this is universal. This is the standard. Four. Okay. That is the standard. So now let's go back to Fuse. So Fuse has his pack and list everything. Good job. Fuse. Fuse is ready to go. One one Phoenix kit, two bats, two med kits, four, four shell cells, four syringes. All right. Good job, Fuse. And look at his inventory still. Look at all this space. He, he's got the packing list. He's good to go. He's got... 320 heavy ammo, right? Fuse is good to go. It's round three. So you already know Fuse either is running a three times or a two to four times on his rampage. He passed like 12 of them because it's round three. Fuse already found at least a level two stock, right? And at least a level two heavy mag. This is a rampage. Like if you're not holding the trigger down on this thing, like you're not using it correctly. This isn't like, this isn't a havoc, right? You got it. This is what, oh, and let's not forget, this thing has barrel stabilizer too, by the way. Oh, barrel stabilizer, yeah. All right, boom, 320 heavy because he's assault. Look at all this space. But remember, Fuse is passive, right? Now, this is what the average player would probably do if they had all this space. I'm going to be honest. They'd probably do something like this. And this isn't wrong. This isn't wrong. Okay, they would do that. Eight shield bats, four, four med kits. Like, that's not wrong but you don't have to do that remember your fuse play off of your kit play off of your kit there's something that us fuse can do that nobody else can your assault rampage is back on ground grab thermites fuse what are you doing grab some thermites make sure that this rampage stays heated the entire game remember when you heat the rampage back in the day it would passively drain. Now it only drains when you pull the trigger. You can have this thing heated infinitely as long as you're not pulling the trigger. And then when you actually do need to use it, boom, it's heated up for you. Oh, you ran out? That's fine. Put another one in there. Because you're fused. You've, you've still got plenty. Because you're fused. Fuse can do that. That's an option for fuse. That's so 
strong. Nemesis has to fight against that. Just because the average player won't do that doesn't mean anything. That is something that exists. Nemesis is on ground. Shotguns have been buffed. What is the Nemesis? An AR. AR hit fire universal has been nerfed. Which means it's it's the spread is, is higher than it's ever been. Well, but LB, it's it's a burst it's a burst weapon. So you're not even supposed to be using it in close quarters. Stop lying to yourself. Don't sit here and lie to yourself. You're playing Apex Legends. Sooner or later, you're going to have to pull your gun out and hit fire. Otherwise, you're playing Warzone 2. This isn't Warzone. Stop lying to yourself. What are you going to just use your your your, your secondary only? Only? And then you're going to be caught in a reload and die. Otherwise, you're you're playing pubs, right? Because if you say, "Oh, that doesn't happen to me," then you're then 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 you're playing in in rookie lobbies. You're playing in rookie lobbies, the rank that's underneath bronze. Stop lying to yourself. If you're if you're fighting any team that's worth anything, that's worth literally more than the lint in my pocket, then you're going to you're, you're going to run into that problem. You're going to run into that. I've said enough on a nemesis. It's not a bad gun. It's a top three gun. There, there. There. Is that good enough? It is a top three gun. But it's not the best gun in the game. So what is the best gun in the game, LB? Because that's an inevitable question. That's a good question. Let's let more time pass, though. Right? But if I were to have to just throw an answer out and just, like, vomit an answer, I, I still wouldn't. Because I'm me. Right? I, everything that I say has to be calculated and has to be thought out. Okay? I don't just, like, speak off the dome. Well, I do speak off the dome sometimes. That's ad lib. Right? Because I'm me. I can pull it off. But I don't, I don't throw out information if I don't actually have a, a, a logical answer that I want to give. And my standard for logical, logical, my standard is, is, is much higher than, than that of the average freaking goon you'll see that's, that's stemming across the map with one HP, right? All right. But let me actually think, because now I really actually want to think. Ground loot, we're referring to ground loot too, by the way. We are referring to ground loot. I just got a, I just got a drop. I didn't. I actually wasn't aware that if, if I'm streaming, <laughs> I also can earn a drop from my own stream as a streamer. Also, that's nothing too, right? I'm sure you noticed, but drops are on. So if you've been watching my stream, right, and you didn't get a drop already from if you watch somebody else, and if you got your drop from here, hype. I appreciate that. Also, watch time is active as well now. So if you want to know your watch time, then you can check. I just checked that. I don't know why it says you have zero seconds because you definitely have more than zero seconds. It's probably a little messed up right now. You probably got to let one stream. I have no idea. I don't know. It's probably messed up. But now let me think though. If I did have to think so far, and this is just initial, right? Because over time, the meta will continue to 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 be ref to refine itself. Okay. So off of the off of, off the top of the head, and this is from a rank perspective. This is not pubs. I don't care. I'm going to give each each weapon a letter grade, not not f with me. Uh, let me rephrase that. If I run a Havoc, it's an I make the Havoc look like the best gun in the game because I have spent more rounds. I've shot more rounds with this gun than any other gun in this entire game, and I've been playing since Season 0, since Day 1, and I still have more shots through this gun than with any other gun. You're probably never in your entire life going to see somebody else that can say that exact same thing because I'm me. I refuse to be like everybody else. So, but I cannot be I cannot be biased. I can't be biased towards the Havoc. I have to be completely fair. The Havoc is currently season 16, not 15. Season 16, the Havoc is looking like a and and this will obviously definitely change for these weapons. This is just off currently. Literally just day 3. Come on now. This is a C tier weapon. If you see somebody, realistically, if you see somebody running a Havoc, they're only running it as a placeholder until they can find a Nemesis. So that way they can hold Energy Mag for it. So when they do find, it, find a Nemesis, they don't have to just hold that Energy Mag in their inventory space. That's just the truth. The reason why it's a C tier is because the average player can't deal with this. They don't know how to, how to play around the charge up. They don't know how to preemptively amp. Also, the average player can't control the Havoc's recoil, right? But why is it not an F tier after I said all that? Because the Havoc actually has the highest DPS in the entire game. The only thing that, that ties it is the Car SMG. The Car SMG and the Havoc have the highest DPS. What that means is 
They kill faster than any other gun in the game, if you know how to use it, okay? That's the reason why I will not put this anything lower than a C, because I already know if you know how to use a Havoc like I do, and like pretty much nobody else does, then you literally have the gun that can kill you faster than any other gun in the entire game. Excluding the car, because it's the same for both of those two. Alright? Now, the Devotion, this isn't even a gun. Alright, so the, the L-Star? Hmm. Again, this is another, another placeholder. People, if you see somebody holding an L-Star, they're probably... Uh, if they're not Rampart... They're probably only holding an L-Star long enough to just swap it out for a Nemesis because they found a energy mag. But, hey, there's this I have to say as well, though. The L-Star has Barrel Stabilizer. The Havoc does not. So, that means this is a more effective placeholder weapon than the Havoc. Unless you're me. This is a more effective placeholder weapon for the Nemesis than the Havoc because this can also hold Barrel Stabilizer for the Nemesis, which can equip Barrel Stabilizer. I give the the L star a C plus because it's it's just like like I just said this it's a placeholder weapon for the nemesis. Triple take is a B plus tier weapon. It's 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 unchanged from last season. It's always been a great poking weapon. And Apex Legends here's a here's a here's a fact many players don't know. Okay, the further your bullet travels in Apex Legends, the bigger the size grows to make it easier to hit the target. I know that sounds weird and fake, but it's a real thing. It's in the game files. If it didn't do that. The, realistically, many players wouldn't hit, like, <laughs> most shots from medium to long range. They just wouldn't, right? Many players wouldn't. Not all, but most players wouldn't. That's the reason why they do that. But for the triple take, it fires three shots, and each of those shots has that effect applied to it. That enlarging effect as the bullet travels over range applies to all three of those pellets. In other words, all you have to just do is point the gun at an enemy if they're medium long range and one of them one of those will hit. On top of the fact too, the triple take has a faster bullet velocity than the 3030 rep rep, than the G7, and then the bow check. Because it's a marksman as well. Okay? This is an amazing weapon. And also it's a marksman, which means it actually has tighter hip fire than the ARs. This has all marksmen have a tighter hip fire than ARs now. I know that's really crazy, huh? But it's never been like that. But that's that's just how it is. I don't make the rules. I don't know what to tell you. Uh, and also, too, triple takes always been good in close quarters as well. It's literally a shotgun sniper hybrid. Come on now. All right, next. Bolt SMG. Oh, this is actually a replicator. Bolt is in the Bolt. Bolt is replicator. So you know what that means? That means by the time this season ends, I'll probably if they don't. If they don't change this next split, I will probably only fight against three volts in this entire season. I have fought against this many so far, and it's going to stay this number until like five days before the season ends or something, right? The only time I honestly will ever imagine seeing somebody hold this is if they died and they happen to get respawn and there's no weapon around or there's a replicator right there but no supply bins because they used a mobile respawn and they just crafted a volt. That's the only time I ever imagined seeing somebody use this because as an SMG we have car back on the ground now car is back on the ground now as a SMG it's out the replicator R9 buffed prowler and you can even say the alternator too if you want Volt's not a bad gun last season I said it was the third best gun in the game uh, I don't know if I'll say that right now but when a weapon is in replicator, the average player sees that as a nerf. That's not a nerf. If you're one of the one of the one percent of this Apex community that actually does craft, that means you can literally get this gun on drop. So replicator is not a nerf, but the developers know the average player doesn't craft, right? So to the average player, they see a weapon going in replicator as a nerf, but it's not. It's not. All right. But vote is unchanged. So. Okay, then the vote is still an A plus tier gun. It just does everything. This is a baby R301. And in fact, this the vote. Now I think about it, the vote is the closest thing in this game to what the R301 was. Now, like this is the closest thing you have to an R301. This this right here, that's probably why they put it in replicator. I'm gonna be honest. I don't think that was just like like random. I think they know that. Okay, so yeah, votes yeah. Because I said last season, this is this was the third best gun in the game. 
Ground ground loop. Not care package. Alright. Nemesis burst AR. I'm gonna put it as for for now. I'll put it at a, at a solid A plus. Potentially second best gun in the game. Potentially. But, you know, it's a contender for the best gun. All right. Prowler SMG. Hmm. Where, where would I put the Prowler? The Prowler has been buffed. I've been saying this for, for a long time. I literally have been saying that the Prowler needs a buff. 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 It got a buff. And it's literally night and day. Because I explained in the past. It's just one damage. I explained in the past why that matters. Okay. I explained it in the past. That literally means the difference between one burst killing or one burst not killing. It's that significant, right? But especially, too, because this doesn't have a shortening f burst delay like the Nemesis does. This is a fixed burst delay that does not get shorter. So that matters. It's an SMG. Heavy ammo. If you know how to use a car, this is a great placeholder for the car. If you don't know how to use a car... But you have plenty of heavy ammo, or you land on a prowler. Amazing gun, amazing gun. It just it's, it's great. Actually accurate from 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 a good distance as well from range, medium range. You can burst somebody with this steel. Steel. If if you're confident with with the recoil, you you can burst somebody with this from range. It's a SMG, so you already know you're about to take advantage of that of that hip fire as well as the ADS movement speed as well. If you know if you're somebody that knows how to strafe. Right, Prowler, uh, I, I, I buffed Prowler. Excuse me, because I, I just have to clarify that. Yes, it's, it's just the Prowler. No, this is the buffed Prowler. All right, because like the old Prowler, because I, 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 it's just this and and last season Prowler. Just it's not the same gun. It's not. It's not. Right. That that buff literally mattered that buff that much. Buffed Prowler is a a a solid a tier weapon. All right, Flatline, you're up next. Oh, LB, is this better than the R3 now? The, this finally has a higher DPS than the R3. And the R3's hip fire got nerfed. People always say the R3, R301's hip fire got nerfed. R301 hip fire got nerfed. See, that's another problem as well. It wasn't the R3. It was all the assault rifles, which again proves my point that I've been saying since Season 0 that the R3 is the strongest gun in the game. And it's a little, it just needs some kind of change, right? I personally... I don't disagree with the hip fire nerf that they decide to do for ARs. I just think they probably should have done it to the R301 only. And since the Nemesis exists and the Nemesis. Because the flat line. If they would have kept the flat line the same recoil, because this it, this already it's just, it's just a fact. A, a flat line. If you have a flat line in the R three hundred one, and you're firing at somebody to medium to long range, the R three hundred one will always hit more shots. Unless you're unless the person that's holding the flat line is just really good with the flat line and isn't good with the R three. If that person is as is skilled with both weapons evenly, then now they'll hit more shots with the R three because the R three is just more more accurate and easier to control. It's a fact. And it can equip barrel stabilizer where this can't. This has always been the close quarters medium range AR. That's just how this thing has always been. You cannot argue that. Whereas the R3 has always been the AR that can do everything. Close, medium, and long. That's just how it's always been. But since this thing was also affected by the hip fire spread, them nerfing the R301's damage, actually giving this a higher DPS finally, doesn't mean anything. Because the R3 is still better than this gun overall. It just still is because this also had its hip fire reduced. I personally think this is the weakest heavy ammo gun in the game. Oh, he said he said the flatline's trash. See, here we go with that again. No, I didn't say the flatline is trash. I just think this: if you're using a flatline, right at this point, you're not going to use it to hip fire somebody up close because they're going to miss most of those shots and die to somebody who doesn't have bad hip fire, like a prowler or a car or an alternator or R9 or even our LMGs that have tighter hip fire now. Yes, even the LMGs have a tighter hip fire than this. Yes, that's a thing. Or a marksman. Yes, even a 30/30 can hip fire better than this now. Yes, that's a thing. Or the shotguns that have actually been buffed, so people are hitting less nines for the people who struggle with that. They're hitting solid big numbers now. If you use this thing, you have to ADS with it. But guess what? You have AR ADS speed. 
you have AR ADS speed. So if you're using this thing, it has to be for to ADS medium range. Why are you ADSing in close quarters? That's why you just die to somebody that's out strafing you or are out hip firing you with type with a better hip fire. You just died. You rather you should rather this thing doesn't have any it doesn't have any identity now. They they took its identity away with the hip fire nerf. They they took its identity away. If you have if you're on the ADS with it and fire with it, which that's what you're going to use it for, then you might as well use a rampage that can do that better. And it's, it's already easier to control ADS and it's an LMG. And it has barrel stabilizer where this doesn't. And it can heat up where this thing can't. And it has tighter hip fire spread than this thing does. And a rampage heated up hip fire is crazy. Or you might as well use a car that obviously again is SMG, better hip, better hip fire. Even if ADS with a car, you're taking advantage of that ADS strafe speed because it's an SMG. And if you actually know how to use a car, you can actually get away with using car medium range, just like you could with a flatline. Yeah, that's a thing. So why use this? If you're going to ADS with a flat line now because you kind of have to, right? Might as well use a 30-30 rep rep because you're, you're, you're getting more value for each ADS shot with a 30-30 than a flat line. But what if they push up on me, OB? This is season 16. This isn't season 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. That's the past. We're in season 16. The 30-30 the is more reliable hip fire now. It just is. Might as well run that. And it can equip Skull Piercer. And Anvil Receiver is out the game now. This is the worst flat. This is the worst heavy ammo weapon in the game. It's not bad, but now the flat line exists as solely a placeholder. This is a placeholder gun. But it's not bad. It's a B minus tier weapon. 30 30 rep rep. Un unchanged from last season. Solid B plus B plus tier weapon. Amazing poke weapon. Hammer points on ground. If you happen to be in a broken moon rotation or bore point rotation of rank for that specific day, go nuts with the 30-30. Then this thing becomes a solid A tier weapon. Because those are those are fairly pokey heavy maps, right? Because they're every pretty much every fight is is medium range. Alright, rampage, LMG, A tier weapon. It just is. It's the, it's the Rampage. And then Car SMG. All right. This this is the best ground loot gun now. This is the best ground loot gun now. Same thing I was saying about the Volt. You can do the exact same thing with this. But remember, this has the highest DPS in the game, which means this gun literally beats every other gun in close quarters. If you pull the trigger at the same time as them and you, all have, you both hit body shots, no headshots, same body shield, this you will always win. Every single time, 100% with this. Unless you're fighting against a Havoc. Then you have the same DPS. Unless that person isn't me and doesn't know how to preemptively imp, you know, amp up a Havoc. Then you win. This is the best ground gun in the game. You can get away with medium range as well with this thing. Because this has the second highest recenter speed in the game. What is recenter speed? That means whenever you're firing, the time it takes for your weapon to recenter back down. Second fastest in the game. So you can you can get away with, with like quick like pecs, quick pokes. All right. Best ground gun in the game. All the shotguns are all A tier. Every single one. Even the modes. I'm not explaining this. I explained that yesterday. All right. P20. Usually I would put this in the D F tier, but but Hammer Point is on the ground now. That's pretty strong. Hammer Point on ground is pretty strong. All right. So now that probably moves the P20. Solid B minus tier, right? Cuz we all know the power of Hammer Point. Alternator unchanged but that's kind of a good thing because this this gun is like this gun is like ramen noodles you know like you know like if you have no food in your house you always at least have like ramen noodles somewhere in one of your like cabinets like all the way in the back or like just in some random location that you just happen to find right that's the alternator it, you know it's always there for you if you're just having a bad day of apex you're just not hitting your shot with r3 you're not hitting your shot with with the uh, 30-30, you're not hitting your shot with flatline. You're just not hitting your G7 shot. You're not hitting a shot with R9 car, nothing. If you got an alternator, then, like, you're, you, you're back in line again, you know? The alternator is the gun that just, like, like resyncs you back into the game, you know? 
the the alternator is a is a nice little reset button. It's just always there for you. It's, it this gun won't let you down. You're not going to like just whiff an entire mag with the ulti. It just doesn't happen. Solid B tier. I'll say this. Okay, I'll say this. If you're worse, if you're a gun that's worse than the alternator, you you know, because this gun is the standard. The alternator is the standard. I got my stick drift. <laughs> the alternator is the standard. You either are at its level, are better than it, but if you're less than it, you're not cutting it. Okay, you're just, you're just not going to cut it. That you know, you're making the the game harder than it needs to be. All right. R99 A tier. This used to be the face of DPS. That's just so crazy to me. Like th that that literally was a thing, but season after season, this thing has been nerfed and nerfed and nerfed. The damage has been nerfed, but then they started buffing it and buffing it and nerfing it. Either way, the R99 is a really balanced gun, right? But just again, for example, if this thing were to come out this season, People would say the same thing like I was explaining earlier. They, was, they would call it the most broken gun for a little while because it's new. I'm not talking about that, though. The R99 is a solid A-tier weapon. But the sad reality is this thing is just a placeholder for a car SMG because this is actually out dps by the car. Off the top of the dome, if I remember correctly, the car deals one exactly like 199 DPS, whereas the car in the Havoc is, if I'm correct, off the top of the dome, it's 203 or 207. So this thing loses to a car and a Havoc. As long as the Havoc is preempt, pre, is, is preempt or if they have a turbocharger. But fun fact, if you have a turbocharger on a Havoc, it actually drops the DPS of the weapon because it deals one less damage per round. And that does matter I explained that in the past. But yes, a solid A tier. This is a top five gun, dare I say. Now, I don't know, I don't know about top five gun, but it is, a, it is an A tier gun. Just a, a solid, straight A tier. All right, R301. It's no longer the, the undisputed best ground loot gun in the game. It only took us 16 seasons. But it's not bad either. This is still an A tier gun. Actually, it's, it's an A plus tier. It's just fair now. That's all. The hip fire nerf just made it fair. This is a top five gun. Right? It was only the best gun because it could literally do absolutely everything. But now it's it's fair. Alright, Spitfire. So this one is a really interesting one. If if you're Rampart, this is a, a solid like B plus tier. If you're not Rampart and you gotta deal with this reload. If you got to deal with this, oh, hang on. If you're not Rampart and you got to deal with this, here we go. Oh, shoot. Oh, my bad. If you're not Rampart and you got to deal with that, this is a C-tier gun. Ah, uh, this is a, uh, no, a C-tier gun. The alternator is better than this if you're not Rampart. But if you are Rampart, B+, plus, right? Because this is a great gun for Rampart. Where's she at? Controller. All right, all right, Rampart. Show us how it's done. Show us how it's done. All right, we ready? All right, all right, real quick, Rampart, knock it out. Get that reload out real quick. Whoop, whoop, choop. There you go. Right, B, B plus right there. The gun is, it feels kind of like janky because of the recoil pattern, because the barrel stabilizer, and because people complained about it back in the day. Ah, it's so broken because people just never stop shooting and all that kind of stuff. Uh, but if you know how to act, because the recoil pattern, here, look, I'll even showcase this. Recoil pattern, you just got to learn the recoil pattern of it. If you learn a pattern, it's not like, you know, like it's an actual pattern. If you learn the pattern of it, like you can beam with this thing. Watch. You see, like, come on now. If you can learn that pattern, it's not even that hard. Up, to the left, to the right a little bit, and then to the left again. If you can learn that, this thing beams. But the average person thinks the hit, the Spitfire is supposed to be laser accurate. But when it starts moving, it throws them off because the average player doesn't go into the range to learn the weapon recoil patterns. Because this isn't old school Call of Duty games where weapons have random bullet patterns, right? And Apex Legends, every single gun has a fixed recoil pattern that never deviates. Ever. Ever. 
The only thing that deviates is the weapon sway, which a stock reduces. Okay? So yeah, B plus tier if you're Rampart. C if you're not Rampart because of that reload time. G7, A tier gun. This thing got stealth nerfed last season where they actually reduced the bullet velocity. And it got officially nerfed by reducing the damage. And both of those changes are fair. I'm going to just be honest. Both of those changes are completely fair because this was the best, undisputed, best poke gun in ranked last season in, on Broken Moon. Just no ifs, ands, or buts about it. It's just, a, it's just a fact, right? Now this gun is so fair and it's still amazing. This has always been one of my favorite guns in the game too, by the way. If you have anybody that knows about the LB lore, right? Yeah, G7 is an A-tier gun. One of the best poke guns in the entire game. A-tier, without doubt. We're not... I'm not talking about any of the care package weapons because they're care package. All right, sniper weapons, sniper ammo to be specific. So the wingman is, it's really hard to rate the, to rate the wingman because if you're somebody that can hit your shots with the wingman, this is without a doubt an A, an a plus four slash S tier gun, right? But that's the thing. If you're somebody that can hit your shots with it. This is a skill gun. This this gun, listen. This gun is just like the Havoc. You know how LB has been maining the Havoc for seasons on the end? But fun fact, I'm actually not using the Havoc this season. Because somebody said in the past, they, said, they actually said it fairly recently at the end of last season. They said, you're only good because you just used the Havoc. If you didn't use the Havoc, you wouldn't be so good. Well, again, which is kind of crazy to me because it's literally one of the hardest guns in the entire game to use in which everybody doesn't use it because it's too hard for them. But there's one sole person that literally just beams everybody with it. And to be told that I'm nothing without arguably the hardest gun in the game to use is kind of crazy to me, but whatever. So this gun is just like the Havoc, though. If you're somebody that runs that the wingman every single game, every time you see a wingman, you grab it. And you just like... like, Because this gun is an art. This gun is an art, the art of wingman, right? If, if you're a wingman ninja, all right? If you're a wingman shinobi, please don't be in my lobby. I do not feel like fighting you, okay? Like, I don't feel like getting hit in the head two times with skull piercer and then, like, getting getting tapped in the body real quick with, like, a, a quick, like, PK-99 and then just punched or something silly, you know what I mean? Like, I don't want to fight you. I don't want to fight no wingman shinobi. Thank goodness they don't exist that often, but every now and then, I come across a wingman shinobi. They're rare, thank goodness. But they, when when I do run across one, they definitely make their presence known, man. And it's it's really scary. I'll just say that. So for the wingman shinobi, this is a S plus tier gun. In fact, if you want to become a wingman shinobi, it's season 16. It's a new season. This is the time to learn it. You know what I mean? Because like each season, this this thing, the wingman gets used less and less and less. And less and less. Each season, it's the, the it's literally getting used less and less. So what does that mean? That means it's just, in my opinion, cooler to use it because less people use it, right? But if you're not a wingman ninja, this is a B plus tier weapon because when you do hit, you're hitting for 45. But when you miss, you miss. Every miss with the wingman, it, like you feel it. Because if you're actively getting shot by somebody, like you, you really can't afford to be missing shots. Because this this rate of fire is not the fastest. This actually every gun, almost every gun in the game, out DPS is this except for shotguns and snipers. Fun fact: a lot of the only uh, most of the shotguns, excluding the Eva and the, and the Moles, get out DPS by everything else. That's why they're shotguns. Because shotguns are burst damage. Also, where the wingman plays in line as well. Right, so you don't actually have to just try to out DPS somebody with wingman. That's why they're also so why so strong too. If you use like a shotgun, peek in the cover, boom, 45. Boom, peek again, boom, 45. Right, where I, where you're hitting them for like 45s and back behind cover. Every time you're exposed and hitting them for a 45, if they're using R3 or something, they're only hitting you for like 21. Whereas you, whereas you hit them for a big old 45. But yeah, so. Next weapon, longbow. Hmm. This is also on the replicator, and it's kind of really hard to rank this because I, 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 I'm, 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 I'm gonna call it right now. For this entire season, I won't see a single longbow. 
If I if I don't craft it, which I'm not, I won't see a single one for the entire season. It will not happen. Not because it's bad, but because it's in Replicator. I think they put it in Replicator because the Longbow last season, without a shadow of a doubt, was the best sniper. Oh, no, wait, 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 wait. Never mind, that goes to the charge rifle. Hmm. I think the longbow is a... I don't even... I wanted to say an A, an a tier, but you have to craft it. You have to use crafting material. You can use that material for anything else, for a bat, for like two med kits. If you're a support, you can literally use that 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 amount for a respawn. Honestly, I'm gonna say this. I think if you craft a longbow, you're not throwing. I just don't think it's optimal in any way, shape, or form. Because we have charge rifle, we have Oh That's why they did it. That's why they did it. Because we have the Sentinel. What have I always said? What have I always said? I've always said, I think it's really weird that we have the longbow and the sentinel. They both have the same bullet velocity. The sentinel bullet doesn't fly faster because it's a because it's bolt action. It's the same bullet velocity. They buffed the sentinel, but people still wanted to use the longbow because it's just better. And skull piercer is on ground, and they didn't get rid of it. It's still here. That's why it's in there, because they won't, they really want to push the Sentinel pick rate up. Even after buffing the Sentinel again, by buffing it to only one shield cell, people were still rather grabbing a longbow, because why not? That is why. I got you, Respawn. I figured out both of the weapons. I knew it wasn't random. There was thought, there was logic to it. I knew it! I knew it. Same reason why when they put the car in the replicator, because, oh, dude, man... Man, come on, man, man, not me. You not get nothing gets past me, not this brain. Nice try, respawn, and it's fun. It's actually really interesting to see sentinels now. I see them now, right? That's really interesting. All right. Either way, though, longbows and A tier, charge rifle. All right, this is an S tier gun. This is a care package gun on ground. This is a care package gun. If this was actually in care package for real though, this is what it would look like. It would drop with this, and it would obviously have this on it. Ah, or would it have this on it? It probably it will probably have this on it. It would have that, or it would have a three to times. I don't think it would have a, a two to four. I just feel like they would just like not put that on there. I feel like they, they would have this and this, and it probably wouldn't burn two shots. It'd probably literally be eight full shots, right? Uh, probably. But yeah. This is a I want to say an S tier but I don't. And I also want to say if you're playing on okay, I'll say this. If you're playing on Broken Moon it's 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 the best poke gun in the game, right? It's an A+. Plus. But I don't think this is that. It's it's not an it's not an Okay, actually I I I I'll reword that. This is an S tier gun. Uh, no, an S tier S this is what S means. S doesn't mean really really good. S actually means it needs a nerf. That's what S means, okay? Cuz my tier lists have have value. Then you know, some people make like this is S. This is double S. This is triple S and they put like 30,000 things into it and like, you know what I mean? And there's like nothing in the middle. This is S S S F F S S double S F like no. If you're playing Broken Moon, this thing is a A+ plus tier weapon. Best poke gun in the game. But I don't I I feel like it's probably not that not not not, not that's not that great on on bore point, but I feel like the value you're going to get from a charge rifle on bore point is dramatically diminished compared to to LB's moon broken moon. And here's why I say that because of the map, the way the map is built on on bore point. The map is is this is the map of bore point. You're it's a constant incline, constant, right? 
And that's... <sighs> there's also more cover on bore point. There's, there's cover all over the place because it's just a big old heel with like elevation differences and stuff. And the charge rifle... If the charge rifle gets its damage based off of like sustained damage, right? Because like, and I've been charge rifle numerous times on on bore point, and like they don't, they're not even able to hit me for all the damage because like they're either hitting me through a window or like I just crouch behind like the 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 like slanted rock behind me or anything, right? I'm not saying it's a bad gun. It's definitely not. But on on bore point. It's not the best poke weapon because of the, the layout of the map. Isn't that interesting? On bore point, it's just an it's a it's an it's an A minus. It's an A minus. It's an A minus. It's an A minus. And you know that I'm really thinking about this? I really feel like I should like just make this my freaking gun the wingman for this season. Like the more I just think about it. Like me a wingman. Shinobi. Because this, the usage of this weapon is constantly less and less. And who, who puts in time to commit to something more than me? Huh? Very few. Huh. Hmm. Okay. All right. Last weapon. Sentinel. Man, I'm man. That's just so crazy. I figured y'all out respawn. You know what I mean? You ain't getting past me, man. Anyway, Sentinel is a. I don't even. I don't even want to rank it. I don't want to rank it. I want more time. I want to see what happens, right? Even though, like, it, this, this, the usage, uh, people are using this thing because they can't grab the longbow. But nobody's complaining about that because it, it feels natural. Because the longbow is just better than the Sentinel, but that doesn't mean that Sentinel's bad. But if they're both on the ground and they're right next to each other, you're going to grab a longbow. And if you don't, if you grab this, you're, I don't want to say you're like making it harder for yourself, but you're making it harder for yourself, right? That's just how it is. The, I, I've always said that. I've always thought it was really weird how these two weapons, listen, Sentinel base, hold up. I, I, I'm about to explain this in more detail. Sentinel base mag is four rounds. Longboy base is six. Long boy is semi-automatic. Semi-auto. Long boy has a faster reload. Faster reload. Mag out, new mag in. Sentinel, four rounds by default. Not semi-auto. But LB, it has the sh it has the whatever that thing is called, the Dead Eyes Temple. That doesn't mean anything. Stop lying to yourself. I'm about to prove it right now. When the more you fire, your your shot is off target. But LB, you can still see the dot. That doesn't matter because watch this. It still moves and that throws people off target. Nobody uses that. If you get hit one time with a Sentinel, you're, you're not like, come on, bro. Like how many people are actually firing three shots of the Sentinel to make it actually start speeding? Like that doesn't happen. It doesn't happen. Don't even sit here and lie to yourself. Goodness gracious lie, dude. But let me continue. Let me continue explaining. Let's go ahead and now compare a level three. Nah, let's let's first compare a level two sniper mag. Level two sniper mag and a sentinel. Level two sniper mag and long boy. All right, long boy. Level two. Level two sniper mag. Ten rounds. Ten. Sentinel. Level two sniper mag. Ooh, six rounds. Wow. Wow. Long boy. Level 3 sniper mag, Sentinel. Level 3 sniper mag. Let's compare this. We're about to go to 6 to 7. Ooh. Long boy. We're going from 10 to 12. It's just better, right? So I agree with this change, and I, I, I figured these goons out, dude. But it was inevitable. So now this is what I'm also thinking, too. Wingman Volt? Wingman Volt. Is that... That just sounds so attractive. Like, just like, it's such a good option for me. This season. 
literally be the only freaking person in every lobby with a wingman vote. I'm pulling it off because I'm me. And yeah, I'll be able to miss some shots in the beginning. But me in the beginning versus me by the end of this season with a wingman, if I commit to that. Oh, man. Like. And I'm Loba? Loba with a wing boy? That just sounds freaking fire. Put my thermal rod skin on. Where's my vote at? Where's my vote at, man? Come on now. Where's my vote? Where you at? Come here. Okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Loba, wingman, vote. Oh, I dropped my wingman. All right, well, hang on. First, before I go back over there, wingman vote. 120 120 energy is, is only two stacks by the way right that's that's dummy viable right I'll, I'll i'll find energy mags in every single death box because everybody not everybody because the nemesis usage rate is going down it's it's not like nobody uses it anymore that's not what i'm saying but i'll always find an energy mag i'll say that right real let's be realistic level two energy mag level two stock Digi optic, because bang pick rate is even higher than it's ever been, because he's also assault now, right? And this can equip barrels, or excuse me, this can. Oh, and laser. Can't forget about laser. That one person who still is an old head trying to like hit fire me to death with a flat line and just missed every shot, just got like, and like come on now. Oh, and le oh, and this also has the same DPS. By the way, fun fact, fun fact, boat has the same exact DPS as flat line, 180, 180. The vote used to lose to the R3 in close quarters because R3 was hitting those shots hit fire. Not anymore. Just saying. Just saying. I'm just saying. <laughs> All right. Wingman, I'm Loba. I'll always be able to find it two times because I'm Loba. Right? Skull piercer? I'm Loba. I'll always have a skull piercer because I'm Loba. Let's. Wingman does not eat up a lot of ammo either. Even if you're just spam, 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 spam. Right? This thing does not eat up ammo. It it still doesn't. It just doesn't. Even if you're doing that, it just doesn't. And look at look 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 two stacks of sniper two stacks of energy. I already discussed the whole the whole heal thing, right? I'm grabbing arc, so I'm Loba. You see what I'm saying? I got space, and I'm running a really optimal loadout right now. Come on now. Hmm. I could probably, if I wanted to, three stacks of sniper. Uh, eighty is a lot of sniper for a wing boy. I'm not gonna lie, but you know what I mean. Solid? <laughs> it's my loadout. That just screams LB because you wouldn't, you don't see that. Okay. Huh? What you think, sister? Because let's never forget, Loba Andrade is LB's sister. All right. What do you, what do you think, Loba? What do, you, what do you think? Is a third person Easter egg still in game? Let me see what Loba thinks in third person. What you think, Loba? I'm 
head over there real quick. Get up here. What you think, Lova? That's my question. Is this still in the game? I feel like it's not. Let's see. They try to destroy me, but I keep coming back. Why did not work? Or is it down here? No, it's. There's a there's a Nessie right here. Is the Nessie here? Cause this is where it is. I thought it was up there. Let Let's see. <gasps> okay. I'm not done yet. Is it Is it gone? Cause it's, it was up here. Uh, that's what I thought. Did they get rid of it? It was literally right here. Oh yeah. Controller crouch toggle. Look straight down. Change legend. Back here they got rid of it. Mom didn't raise a sook. Why'd they get rid of it? Well, you get to see her, you get to see your legend in third person. When you change your legend, they got rid of it. That's crazy. I'll have to go through and try to figure it out to see why it's only doing it for this specific stream. I thought it was all time. I guess it's not. I'll, I'll check after this. That's crazy. Did they really get rid of it? It's not over here. It was on the... No, they, they must have got rid of it. Did they, though? I'm just trying to ask Lobo what she thinks about that loadout. That's all. I'm sure, I'm sure, I'm sure. I'm sure Lobo's down with that. That's crazy, dude. They got rid of it. By the way, though, that, that is LB's initial Season 16 weapon tier list. Oh, but now I kind of want to do the, do the Legends. Next time on LB stream. <laughs> I'm gonna conclude this stream here. Ah, 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 ah. If you watch my vods, though, honestly, truly, I appreciate it. Imana, thank you. Truly, like how Sierra says. Don't forget to follow LB. Don't forget to sub to my YouTube. Hey, hey, hey.